Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. We're going straight into a retaliation strike after we've uh, cleared out the black side last time. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, because of that, a lot of our troops are, a lot of our Valkyries are a little bit tired. So we're only taking part of the uh, main team uh, combined with Lisbeth Nilsson as our sharpshooter and Marina Ivanova as our grenadier. So otherwise we also have Jacqueline, Callie, Heidi and Lena. You know these gals, you know how they roll and that they are very efficient in what they do. So let's launch Operation Death Slayer. So for the first time we don't have um, Elena with us for this mission, this type of mission. So we're not gonna have anybody in concealment which is gonna hurt but I think we should be able to do this. It's very difficult so that means that we're at least facing um, probably around six to seven bolts of enemies. Yeah, this is definitely gonna hurt. So if on top of all of that, if the hunter also decides to pop up, he might be in a lot of trouble. Now, let's see. 19 again. leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Okay, so he's definitely already here. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. So there's two resistance fighters with them, but we're quite a ways off. Uh, we don't have concealment, as I said before, but we might be able to move as quickly through this as we can, just to make sure that... Can we actually go over this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to start putting everybody... In cover, move her forward and see what we're uh, where we're gonna end at. I'm gonna put everyone on Overwatch on the first turn just to see where the aliens are coming from, and this will probably be yeah, there he is, the hunter. Savor the moment. So he has a sniper rifle. He can summon robotic allies, and he has kinetic plating. So missed shots against this chosen will generate shielding. And defense increased after the first attack of every turn. But his weaknesses are shell shock. This chosen takes increased damage from explosions. Okay, that's that's not good for you, my friend. Because uh, we have a double grenadier on our team. And the Templars... Ooh, he also takes increased damage from the Templars. And we have Lena with us as well. But he's very, very far away. He's very far away, so that's not good. Uh, so he's just gonna put himself into cover. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Okay, now we're gonna see. Okay, ooh, there's a berserker. There's a berserker. That's not good. But they are hitting it quite nicely. So double four damage. So that's eight damage on the berserker already. And he's invisibly enraged. Okay, we need to move in. Because that Berserker might really, really hurt. So everybody moved up, but we still don't see anything. Let's get it on already. And there's the Berserker. Clear of those Berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. But he was already next to the car, if I'm not mistaken. And we see another Muton as well. But this is their first turn being spotted, so that means we won't have... Any trouble with them just yet. So it's a muton and a berserker. Ooh. Uh, there's another muton over there. And um, we spot them as well. Okay. And what's that? Another viper. They were really far away from each other. And then the chosen. Grapple. So we can move around rather quickly. Just like the... Tracking shot mark. There's nowhere to go. He marked Heidi. Uh, so that's a shot on the Viper. Two damage. Because it was a dodge. And then the other resistance fighter fires on it as well. And he hits it fully. Or she hits it fully. Okay, so... There's a tracking shot on Heidi now. I don't know what that means. We kind of should know his position now. He was on an elevated position, although I don't see it anymore, so we're probably not close enough. 
This is gonna be problematic. Because I can't see this thing. So we have four enemies to deal with and the hunter's tracking shot, whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, I see three of them from Kelly's position. And I think... So if I use that dual strike... A combined standard shot attack by the soldier and the bond mate. This shot is a free action for the bond mate. So Heidi at the moment is also in a pretty good position, I think. Yeah, she's right there next to the truck. So if I do a dual strike... That should... Six damage on the berserker. And then... Shotgun blasts. Ten damage. And it's down. Okay. It's down. Um, I really need to be careful because I don't know where that shot is going to come from. One five, the chosen hunter Aha. is targeting your position from long range. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. The soldier can prevent the shot by moving out of the hunter's line of sight, or can decrease its chance to hit by hunkering down. But, but, because Heidi actually killed, or is that no? It's on Lisbeth. Crap. Okay. So we definitely need to move out of line of sight. I can definitely do that. So that's not an issue. And I love how the game is actually showing me what line of sight is at the moment. Uh, but I lose my sharpshooter in the process, sadly. Um, so let's move Lisbeth over here. I think that means she's out of sight. Because it didn't have red markers. There we go. She's out of sight, so that's good. Then we have Lena. Lena has rent capabilities up to this mutal. So let's put Jacqueline a bit closer. Uh, I don't think Marina actually leveled up already. No, she's still a squaddy. So I definitely need her to gain a promotion as well. She has a double grenade. Might as well use one of them right now. Uh, let's put her right next to the truck. Let's see if I can't see anything else. No? Okay, so that means grenade. I don't think I'll be able to hit both of them. No, they're too wide apart. Um, but I can put... Yeah, I'll put a grenade over here. I don't know why this actually shows that much damage. This doesn't seem to be right, but... I don't know why the tree is going to go with it. But apparently the tree is going to go with it. So let's just blow up this batch of stuff and shred the armor and the cover of that muton. It's probably going to take only one or two damage. But cover is gone and one of his armor is gone. Now that that is done, Jacqueline can actually start... Ooh, I actually have a pistol shot as well. That's actually not that bad. So if Lisbeth does a pistol shot from here, we get four more damage. So that means that's enough to kill with rend. So if I want to rend, there we go. We can do just that by slashing the air. There we go. One hit on the armor. And then we're going straight into a parry. Because she's wide out in the open right now. Uh, so Perry, Jacqueline has hmm, demolition. Fire at the cover's target, significantly damaging or destroy it. Deals no damage to your target, or we just frag the hell out of this guy as well. What else? Of sh what else kind of shots do we still have left? Just Heidi and Jacqueline at the moment. Jacqueline also has two grenades. So, even after this, we still have three long-range grenades. So, if we just do this... Because Heidi has placable as well. Une petite surprise! Oh yes, petite surprise downrange. And that takes care of the cover. Okay. So, then I just need to get Heidi into a proper position. I think even behind this tree, although I don't want to risk triggering anything else. Um, I don't have any good full cover. But even from here it's 62. So I just need to get her a little bit closer. You know what? Let's go run and gun. And let's put her behind this tree anyway. Uh, maybe even like this. So if there's any other enemies. 
I should be pretty well covered. So let's just go over here. That gets us up to the tree. Hopefully not... No. No, we haven't triggered anything else. 85% chance. Shot. And we miss. Okay, that's not good. Because that was my last action. Are they going to go for civilians or not? Yeah, they're going for it. That's one down. Fabrizio Russo, no. That is... Aw. Poor Fabrizio. Ooh, they're going for... Aha. The Viper misses Marina. But now, this guy is... Ooh. So there is actually a tower over there, and he's just going for that tower. But that also means... That is interesting. Because that means that if we get a grenade up there, he's actually going to be dead. Because he's going to drop down, takes extra damage from the explosion. But there we go. Two nice shots. So that means we can probably kill the mutal next. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. There's four more resistance fighters with them, though, so we still have a few turns, I would, would assume. Uh, the only problem is the hunter constantly tracking us. But, 64%, that's not really good, is it? I'm just gonna... Can I actually move up? I can. I can put Marina up top On here. And then shoot from up top. Down below at the... No, why? Why wouldn't you be able to see that guy? Just peek over. God damn it. Okay. That means Lena. Lena. You can go random Uton. From behind. There we go. Suffer my rage. Yeah, suffer her rage. Oh crap, I keep forgetting about them. You humans are awfully delicate. Holy crap. Why do I keep trying that? Okay, so she got... 8 damage. That's not good. Um, Jacqueline. Can you please kill that muton over there? 69% chance shot. Um, please? There we go. That sounds like a hit and a kill. Okay. Um, the resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. So now, uh, we need to get rid of that daze thing. Um, Lena doesn't have her bomb mate in this mission, because that's Elena. Which is gonna be bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to get Kelly closer. And then we can use um, Gremlin Heal to get Lena up to snuff, because... Okay, really need to remember that mutons... Because I killed the other mutant with a melee attack. So I sh really should have told about this. And we haven't gotten the better uh, gremlin yet. So we're only up to 5 health. Ooh, this is even in... Oh, the line of sight is a... Aha! The line of sight is just a track. That is interesting. So if I just move her to the sides... So if I move her over here... She should be quite okay. So now she's out. And I can't heal. Yeah, okay. So I don't have an action to heal her, actually. But I can put Heidi with a reload right next to Lena. Uh, Lisbeth still doesn't have a shot. But I think if I can put it up here, she might have a very nice shot on the hunter in a minute once we get side on him. There we go. And then Marina can go onto Overwatch. And that's basically it. Aha, we have another Berserker there. Okay, but that's good to know. And another one over there. They're killing the resistance fighters. Okay, we need to move in. Got it. And then the hunter is going to grapple up to that thing again. And then maybe go for another shot, but... If I can get that rocket over there, that would be nice. Hey, drops down again, running away. I feel like this guy isn't really much of a threat. 
And I think we still have like five resistance fighters left. Okay, so there's definitely two mutons and a berserker over there. We need to get in that building and help them out. Yeah, there's the other one and they miss. And the next one, I think there's two more. Oh, there's another one coming in through that side of the building. Okay, we really need to move. We really need to move, because there's like a Berserker right next... Ooh. Ooh. That was a critical. Okay, got it. This too easy on me. Got it. Let's go save the trapped civilians. Come on, give me control. Marina. Marina, Marina, Marina. Go check Marina. over there on the building. Yeah, there we go. So that's the Berserker and two Mutons. And they're running straight inside. Straight inside. Okay. What can Lisbeth see? 55 and 45. But the 55 is almost gone. Uh, I can't do much with Lena. I think we're still too far away. So I could run and gun this Mutal. If I can get... Yeah, because these shots aren't going to get better. So 55 on the back Muton. If we get it, that's one Muton less to worry about. And that's a hit. Nicely done, Lisbeth. Nicely done. And she gets an extra ability point. Those guys are a dime a dozen. Okay. I do want to be careful that I personally don't trigger the batch on the right here. Because if I do, that's going to make my life a bit tougher. Um... How far can I toss that grenade? Not far enough. Probably need to get a little bit closer, but this is a bad position because that's going to get flanked immediately if there's another Muton. Although I do plan on killing that Muton. So that's one. We now see the Muton. I could just go with Demolition and destroy that cover over there. That would mean that I can give Heidi a better position to give him a flank shot. Without risking too many of her, uh, yeah, of her hit points. Um, let's try that. I want to see what Demolition is going to do in this case. So that takes care of his cover, so that's good. So he's now no longer in cover, which means that Marina also have an, has an extra shot. And Kelly has as well. So let's try Kelly's shot first. That's a miss. Okay. Uh, we still have Heidi. We still have Lena. Lena. Can we do something with Lena? I think if I put it over there, she's not going to be able to see. Oh, she does. She does see him now. So I think we're going to go with Volt. So there we go. Four damage. And then Marina might be able to finish it off. If, it, if she hits, she kills it. And I don't need to risk Heidi. That be, oh no, that's a miss. And because of the stock, she got one damage off. Okay, and it's all up to Heidi. Uh, so let's just run and gun. And I think if I put it over here, she should be able to kill it. Yeah. So let's go over there. That is a run. That is a run. She's going for it. 98% chance. And of course, we can always depend on Heidi. She finishes it off. And she's implacable. So she can move back. Um, She can move back. The Berserker is supposed to be inside the building over there. But for some reason, I still don't see it. I think I can put it over here safely. Because I think she has invincibility. Ooh. Yeah, that Berserk is clearly inside the building now. And that one as well. So they're killing civilians left and right. Okay. Oh, there's three of them. There's freaking three of them. This is not good. This is definitely not good. So she's, she's grappling on top of the building now. Tracking shot marker. You 
Oh, and well, we spot that troop as well now. Okay, they're getting closer though, which is pretty much okay. Okay, so Lisbeth actually has a 91% shot on the Berserker in the back there. So if I can lure it out with that, that would be nice. So let's try that as well. Here we go, 91. And that's 9 damage on the Berserker. That's good. That's really good. And Rachel is coming to come closer, I think. Or doesn't he do that on this difficulty? Or in this... Uh, I might be confusing it with the uh, XCOM enemy unknown, and we didn't. Jacqueline. Jacqueline is in need of a reload because of demolition. Now, I think I'm going to try it with Marina. I'm pretty sure I paid attention. Well, he's either over here, but I think he's going to be up here. So if I do this, um, this should be, yeah, so it takes care of that bit behind him as well so if i drop that Launching. here we go i think i heard something drop i can't see it because i don't have sight inside the building just yet um but i could get heidi in here so let's do that Because now I'm outside of the tracking shot as well. Let's see. 45. Wait, why is my... Why am I debilitated? Weapon range, defense, and no cover. Ah, wait. But that's not... I want to hit the berserk... The berserker. That I, for some reason, can't see. Okay. Okay. Interesting. How... How does this work? How do you not have sight on that? So Gally goes close, and she can see the Berserker. So that's one Berserker less. Is that action better spent on Heidi or not? So the Muton is at 45 at the moment, but I could probably mitigate that a little bit. By tossing in a grenade. Or I could run the Berserker, but that's not a good idea. How far can you toss that grenade? Not... Oh, so that far... So I think if I get it close enough to that opening, like this maybe even, I can toss that grenade in there and take care of the cover of the muton. Ah, no, 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 definitely not close enough. And if I want to shoot it, yeah, it's 33% chance and I only do a little bit of damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to use Kelly to shoot at the Berserker. And she misses an 83% shot. That's not good. Could use some ammo over here. That's not good at all. That is definitely not good at all. Can Heidi? Oh. Wait, I saw it. I think she can. She still can't. I can't get a grenade up there. Um, this is gonna suck. Because Lena can't do anything. Because even if I try and rend that guy... But I can't reach, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to put it on Overwatch. Then Jacqueline... I think Jacqueline is going to have to use the flashbang. If I use the flashbang... Over here... I think that also flashes... The uh, second Berserker in the other room. So disorientation for pretty much everybody. But I'm hoping that gives us one extra turn to deal with all of this. Yeah, we disoriented the other uh, Berserker as well. So that's good. And then I think Heidi does not have another option than to just go into Overwatch. Ah, uh, we have a Faces. Great. The Berserker is disoriented, but I don't know if that's gonna... Yeah, that's not gonna stop him from killing somebody and the mutal also doesn't miss oh god if my math is correctly that means we're basically at our last turn god damn it everybody keeps missing today this is not good yeah, I didn't get it. and there's one more berserker now 
There we go. He's also disoriented, but I feel like it doesn't really matter. And there's a mutal. Shit. The last mutal. This is bad. This is really bad. And he was lower. Yeah, great. He was lower. I can see further than you think. God damn it. So we have six more people alive, which means that we need to kill at least three aliens for them to not kill everybody there that's still alive. There we go, that's four more damage on that one. But I have a plan. I have a plan. What the hell is... Okay, so that's one of our resistance fighters that's still outside. That Buton is almost dead. So I think with a single... Machine gun, I can actually kill that off. Okay, so they're dealing pretty good damage, and I think they all, they all still have guns. Come on. Come on. Then dead civilians, that's not a really good uh, sight, is it? Uh, the problem is that with Lena, since they're all mutants and berserkers, I don't have any good options. Um, the only good option I have is that they're really clustered together. But, is that still... Yeah, there's one civilian on that spot. There's a civilian at the foot of one of the berserkers. So explosives are out of the out of order. Um, I think if I put Kelly over here... Heading out. She actually gets... Is that a flank shot? No. God damn it. So I need to move Heidi anyway. So let's move Heidi over here. So she has sight on a lot of guys over here. Okay, so we got sight on... Oh, I forgot about the faces for a second. Damn it. Okay. Um, first off, we have a few 100% shots. But the crit chance is really bad. The Muton is 77%. If I hit... I kill it, and I need to start killing mutons. So that's one. There we go. Okay. So good start. Damn, you get him. You get implacable. But how is your gun? You still have one, one charge. So Kelly, 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 Kelly. Yeah, thank you, Kelly. Give another shot at Heidi. Because Heidi has the highest damage weapon. So if I can pull that off, and that muton is 50, so I can't kill the muton here. But I can try and kill the berserker. If I don't kill it now, I can use Lena's auto pistol to kill it. There we go. We get burn damage, but I think it still has two health. Yeah. Um, and I have a 90% shot with Lisbeth anyway, so here we go. Let's kill that berserker. There we go. Enemies down. That's two down. Now. Lena needs to move in, I think. Um, I'm gonna put Lena in full cover over here. So that gives a sight on the Berserker. The two Berserkers and the Muton. So let's put Jacqueline a bit closer. She has now sight on one of the Berserkers. So that means we can fire 70%. That's 8 damage. 8 damage is good. We still have Marina as well. If she can get a nice shoulder off, she might be able to kill it. Although, that's going to be really tight. Um, we can weaken it even further with the auto pistol. That's two damage. And then Marina. I don't have a good position for her though. Because I can't put her right next to the window. So this is going to have to do. So that's straight in front of the window. That should give her sight. On the faces and on the berserker. If she hits the berserker, it's dead. 68%. Please. Oh. Okay, so that leaves us with a Faces, a Berserker, and a Mutal. Disorientation removed. Oh no, go for Heidi, please! No! 
Five more civilians left. Uh, that goes for... Oh, that's a grenade. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Five damage each, but Jacqueline has the blast padding, so she uh, wetted that storm. And then the faces comes closer as well, and he's probably going to go for one of XCOM. Uh, since I've learned that in one of the episodes. But she has untouchable. There we go. Ooh. But now this guy, is he going to finally do something? Outside of a window. Tracking shot mark. Okay. And he's moving to the... Oh, he's moving inside. With all the build up surrounding your escape, Commander, I was almost hoping it wouldn't end so quickly. It's not often I get to take down a legend. I suppose I will have to take comfort in the fact that this world will be mine when you fall. That's but the remember, the resistance fighters still have... Uh, a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Okay, so that's four damage. If they could kill the f the faceless for me, that would be nice. Yeah, we only need one more shot. And otherwise I can do the shot with Lena, I think. Um, but if they can kill it, that would be really... I mean, I mean, that's nice and all, but can you please kill the faceless so I don't have to spread out my shots too much? So we get a reload and a fire on the, <laughs> the berserker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're enraged. We get it. We get it. But, uh... I'm kind of mad right now. You tossed a grenade at one of my troopers. Well, two of my troopers. And we still have a few of those as well. So I can put Marina closer. I'm gonna do that anyway. She has a grenade. And that grenade is gonna go right onto uh, a few idiots. Um, but first... Let's see about free actions. Ah, crap. Talking about free actions, Lisbeth is out of uh, out of ammo. Rock and roll. There we go. But now, of course, she can't shoot. I can put her on Overwatch with the pistol. Not that that's going to help. I could rent the Hunter. Uh, but before we do that, let's see what Jacqueline can do. So Jacqueline moves up a little bit closer. And we're going to spread out the grenades a little bit. So, first grenade is going to go into this trio over here. There we go. Look at that. That is very nice, isn't it? So, let's just blow these guys to smithereens. There's no civilians in the way anymore because you killed them all. There we go. Face is gone. Newton basically dead. And the Berserker got hit a little bit as well. Um, cold-blooded killer, Commander. It takes one to know one. Is that the best you can do? Well, um... Is that explosive, by the way? Because <laughs> if that's explosive, I might have killed... I might have killed... You know what? Let's do this just to be sure, because I don't know if that generator might explode. Uh, so let's do this. Catch. I should have probably killed the mutants, etc. first, but... I just want to hit that guy. There we go. Shell shocked. And that gets rid of uh, one piece of his cover. Now. Nope. Not really. Um, crap. So let's go rend on the hunter. That's something I really want to do. I think he takes... Yeah, he takes increased damage from Templars. So, there we go. Because if I do that, I can actually put it into parry. And... Well, take care of one more attack. Uh, then, Kelly. Kelly still has a shot as well. And that Muton is out in the open. I could actually pull her back a little bit. No, no, I need to kill. I need to definitely kill. Uh, so let's put Kelly over here. And now fire at the Muton who is out in the open. 77%. Please hit. Because our percentages have been really, really... Our luck has been really, really bad this time. Uh, promotion for Kelly. 
But now, I think I'm gonna have to try and blade master the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Blade master the hunter. This is such a bad idea, but here we go. Let's whack him in the face. Seven damage. And tracking shot marker lost. That. Oh, he's. Wow, he's really going for it. I think that's the last one we could lose. If we lose any more. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, crap! Yeah, what the hell? What happened to the tracking shot, buddy? So he's just gonna stay in position? And everybody needs to reload, and they don't have sight on him. Oh, they do. Yep, there he goes. I'm gonna freaking kill his ass now. Or maybe they do it for me. Fine. Ha! Fine. I, I don't give a fuck. And uh, that even gives Lena an extra focus. And here I thought the elders were just exaggerating. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that Chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Yeah, indeed. So now Lena gets the focus, I would assume. Can I get the... Uh, can I get the... Uh, hello? Can I get control? Lena, come on. You're right into it. Just pick it up. Okay. Um... Now, we still have a Berserker we need to kill. Ready to engage. So well, let's reload everybody. Um, I fire at that thing. So it needs to die. Really needs to die. If look at the, the, the slaughter inside of this building. Ready. Heidi goes. Heidi ha still has running guns, so we could use her for that if I want to. Uh, Lisbeth even has a shot, but I think I'm going to keep her last because I want to have a promotion for her. Uh, I can actually just grab this now. There's an action for it. Okay. The UI is freaking out. I want to select that, that pickup thing, but... Nope. Nope, not possible. Okay. Um... I could rend it, but that's probably going to be a bad idea. Um... Jacqueline. Jacqueline, let's just move you forward wide out in the open. And fire blast that freaking berserker. There we go. 88%. Fusruda. There we go. And then I think Lisbeth might be able to finish this off. Lisbeth. Death from above. And from very far away. But. Flammo. Taken care of. There we go. Menace 1 5, you secured the remaining civilians, and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work out there. No, no, this was terrible. We lost pretty much <laughs> more than half of the civilians are dead. I wouldn't call this a good operation, but excellent. Only two of our soldiers got hit because of the grenade. And uh, yeah, that's Operation Death Slayer for you. That mission does really show how important that first batch of civilians is because. If I didn't save that first batch, or part of that first batch, we would have lost. We would have lost severely. Um, I think... Is there a bond available between... Yeah, between Lisbeth and Jacqueline, so that's gonna... I'm gonna confirm that bond. No, we don't need a photo. There we go. That's good, so that's another bond in the back. And then we have three promotions to give out. Kelly goes to Major... No, to Captain. And we get either covering fire or threat assessment. I think covering fire is uh, probably the best. Um, yeah, covering fire. There we go. And then we get a promotion to Lisbeth, which means that she finally gets uh, lightning hands or dead eye. Dead eye might be good if you keep her in the back. Her aim is pretty high, so there we go. Dead eye. And then Marina gets another promotion as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I need. Any promotions? There we go, promotions. And of course, we're gonna go for shredding because we're uh, really lacking in the shredding department here. There we go. And that's basically it. Lena has been gravely wounded, so that's 16 days out. Uh, we can have that to eight with the engineer. And Jacqueline, just a little touch because of the blast padding. So that really saved her life as well. Seven rescued civilians, four, four berserkers dead, seven mutants dead, a five and a faceless. All in all, not too many enemies, but really, really bulky ones. This unusual specimen is clearly afflicted by some form of extreme muscular hypertrophy. 
although how the species came to exist in this state will require a thorough examination. I suspect the research could lead to varying enhancements for our own troops, perhaps even some means of intensifying their own thirst for combat. That doesn't sound really good. That sounds really bad. Commander, combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task, and eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. Okay, so we got negative traits. That's also something that uh, War of the Chosen added, probably. Fear of fire for Lena. Chance to panic when burning or squad mates are burning. I don't know what it was they were burning, but the smell. Okay. We can probably get rid of that somehow, but I don't really know how exactly. Um, I think I can get rid of that, yeah, that engineer. So that can move the blue screen protocol up to four days but that's not too bad i want to increase the healing rate there we go and in three days i can move more engineers back to the proving ground so that's going to be fine power is going to be a problem but we're pretty much well pretty close to shielding the power coil so that's not a problem with the, at all okay we get a firefight four days for a single soldier if that's a male is that some man we can't do anything with that, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Dark event complete. Vigilance. The aliens are on high alert, making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware. So their uh, sight radius is increased. I would assume. Our inspiration did. Aha. Official. And now we're getting to the fun stuff. Ilium research complete. So we can make an Ilium conduit. Research for the plasma rifle and powered armor is now available. So. That's really good. Proving ground construction. A redesigned containment system for the proving ground will reduce the overall cost of construction by 50%. And technology breakthrough made an astonishing breakthrough and must begin researching modular bullpups immediately. I don't care about that. Mutant autopsy instant, fiber inst autopsy instant. Okay, that's all really, really interesting. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material. I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. So this would probably be the normal evolution I of the, uh, the Tin Man. To say the least that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. But we get the battlefield medicine and that's gonna come in really handy. The venom injected by the viper into its victims is nasty stuff, capable of taking down even the biggest stuff as soldier. However, it also contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated for use in our medkits, greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. So let's assign new research. The mutant autopsy is also instant and a thing that gives us plasma grenades. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. It's weird that that's his problem, well, the fact that it's a giant the monster. make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So we get the advanced grenade launcher, uh, powered armor as well, and the proving ground project for the plasma grenade. So there we go, advanced grenade launcher, plasma grenade, and that's that. So that's gonna be really, really nice. Um, modular bulb ups is useless. Uh, 20 days for the plasma rifle. I think we're doing pretty okay with the magnetic stuff. Uh, so I would either go for powered armor. Or... Psionics. But Psionics is less useful at the moment. Because I feel like we're doing pretty okay with Lena. Um, and alien encryption is just to move the story forward. I think, yeah, powered armor. Powered armor. We'll begin our research immediately. And I'm gonna keep an eye on the fact that this comes up in the black market, because if we can half that, of the crew that would be really nice. So I'm gonna just quickly nip to the black market to see what we have over there. You're not finished scanning at this location. Avenger, I know. I know. This is completely with a purpose. 
We have 226 supplies as well, uh, but we're almost done with the proving ground uh, for the blue screen protocol as well. Let's see. Rush research psionics? No. No, 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 no. I could actually use those extra supplies. I'm going to actually do that. So I'm going to get the 105 supplies for the 40 intel. There we go. Let's get out of here. And we're going to get a shielding on the... Mm, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just continue scanning because in less than a day we're gonna get uh, the power coil, which frees up a few other things. Um, so let's do this, and there we go, power coil shielded. So now we have a new room available, and we get Illyrium crystals from it, which is good because we just unlocked the Illyrium conduit. So if you go over here, so this is shielded power coil. Uh, if we build Maximum on top of this, oh. Wait, or is that an upgrade? Is that an upgrade to the power relay? Yeah, we can upgrade that to an Illyrium conduit. Um, I'm just gonna put a Maximum power power relay over power here, so that's only 80 supplies. Initiated. And we can get an engineer working on that. Then we can go out of this menu, put another engineer into the blue screen protocol. There we go. And then I think we still have one more slot. We could put one into resistance comms. But that would mean I would lose that engineer permanently if I choose to actually do this. So if I, yeah, I can put an engineer in here and that gives us two extra contacts. Um, but for now that's useless. Um, but yeah, I can't put it anywhere else. So that's not really a problem either. The proving ground is going to be done in one day, and then we're going to get uh, get stacking on those projects. So there we go, blue screen protocol. Let's assign a new project because we have a lot of stuff to do here. So we get an EMP grenade and blue screen rounds. So both of those do extra damage to robotic enemies. We still have two cores, but 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 I want to check all of this out. We have an exosuit. That's fine. Uh, I think the battlefield medicine is going to be one of our most our biggest priorities but also the plasma grenades so i think those two should probably be our priority so if we go into plasma grenades so that's 75 supplies five alloys and five aluminum crystals at a core that's that and then battlefield medicine spends our other core two viper corpses and 50 supplies there we go five and nine days respective well four days respectively bring us to nine days in total that is good that is really really good so let's go to the bridge and continue scanning. And that gets us... What's going on? Ooh, that's not good. Or is... Why is it blue? Aha! Covert action completed. Yeah, we had that running. And that reduces two more bars. That is... Together, we have succeeded in our task. Wow! That is really good. And Hilda even got a promotion there. That is really good. Let's uh, assign a new covert action. That was holy crap, I didn't expect that. Um, hunt the chosen hunter, we could do that. But I think we need to go for the assassin. Um, and that requires a major. Let's do that. So let's put a major in here. So that's either Sarah or Heidi. Um, Heidi is bonded with Kelly. And they're both available. So I think I'm going to put Sarah in here. And I'm going to get... Ooh, can I get Alessia out? No, she's tired. She's still tired. I, we need a sharpshooter in here because it increases the aim. So Lisbeth is definitely going to be good. Soldier wounded risk is low and it takes eight days to get the final part of the uh, assassin location. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. So there we go. We can actually upgrade this thing as well. What does that actually do? Unlock an additional slot for XCOM to assign resistance orders. Okay. No need for that because it also spends uh, power. And there we get the extra soldier. Oh, yes, it's a woman. Lieutenant Erica Crawford, another sharpshooter. Okay, I would love, would have loved. Ooh, wow. That's, that's a look. I would have loved another uh, grenadier, but sharpshooter is good as well. That UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Oh, crap, doodles. So, begin evasive maneuvers. Of course, for Sector 13. Whee! Is it gonna 
Oh god. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Lamo. Okay. Here we go. This is uh yeah, this this had to happen at some point. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. And I have a really good plan for this. Well, I hope it's going to be We're a really good down, plan. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. So we could begin this mission. Uh, but of course, as usual... We can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. So this is a mission that you need to succeed at. If we fail at this, we're actually dead. Game over. Completely. So uh, it's really cool that the aliens actually want to capture the ship. It's a really cool detail. Uh, we can actually upgrade our new uh, lieutenant here. Because that's actually really good. Uh, we can get long watch. Uh, dead eye. Dead eye. Dead eye. Dead eye. Okay. I lost my cursor again. Dead eye or lightning hands. I think that eye is going to be good as well. And then that from above. Costs only a single action and does not end your turn. There we go. But basically what we want to have here is definitely two snipers. Because two snipers means that we can get a lot of long range shots. Because this area is going to be wide open. So let, give me a second to set up who we're going to use here. So this is going to be our setup. So two sniper rifles with uh, Christina and Erica Crawford, our new sharpshooter. Then Jacqueline as our grenadier. Kelly as our specialist. Heidi is going to come along as well. Of course, why won't we? And then I'm going to take Elena with us as well, even though she's tired. Because with the shadow ability, we can approach the spike without getting spotted. And then we can take out the spike with our sharpshooters. So that's going to be the easiest way of finishing this mission. But that's going to have to wait until next time. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And next time we're going to do the Avenger Defense in Operation Star Wars. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And see you guys next time on the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye.